So have you ever wondered why it's so important to use distilled water in your eBay K480 laser? Well, if so, stick with me because I'm going to explain why. Let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about the importance of using distilled water in your eBay K40 laser. Now, a lot of you may say, Mr. DIY3Dtech.com, why can't I just use tap water? Well, what we need to do to explain why is to really start with how this tube works. So this tube is basically a big neon light, if you will, with CO2 gas in it. So when we activate this laser, what happens is about 20,000 volts gets dumped over here in the anode. You can see this large uh, red silicone coated wire. And then what happens is it travels through the tube, through the gas, to this cathode over here, which is connected to this blue wire, which comes back and is connected to the chassis to this ground. And this is why it's so important to have this ground, and that's another video which I'll link up in the corner. But with that being said, when this voltage is dumped here, it creates basically a brilliant arc lamp if you will. Now what happens is that uh, arc lamp basically lasers the CO2 gas and the coherent light bounces back and forth between a fixed mirror here and a permeable mirror here. Once the intensity reaches the correct level it passes through this permeable mirror into this first order mirror and then into your cutting chamber. Now, while this is happening, a very large electrical field is being built up around this tube. Now, to demonstrate that, I'm going to use my field meter to measure this. So what I'm going to do is up in the corner, I'm going to run a bit of a uh, overlay video where I fire the laser tube and we measure this. Now, one of the things that you'll notice as the tube is firing that we're generating about a max of around 600 volts per meter, uh, on average about 411 volts per meter, which is quite a bit of power. Now, this is the important part because what we're doing is this water, which we're running through here to cool this tube, is taking part or is in this electrical field that we're creating. Now, distilled water is a poor condition conductor of electricity because it doesn't have any or very few dissolved minerals. I shouldn't say any because distilled water still itself isn't perfect. With that, the distilled water really doesn't take part in this. In other words, it does not act as a good inductor for all this electrical field which is being generated around this tube. You know, in other words, absorbing some of that power from the electric field, which is using to uh, create the arc. However, if we use tap water, what happens is we have dissolved minerals like sodium, calcium, magnesium in there. And when a uh, mineral dissolves into water, it creates, it becomes ionized. And that ionization is what actually carries the electric current through water. And you don't need a lot of it to be a good conductor in water. So with that, if we put tap water with a lot of minerals in it, it's going to absorb a lot of that electrical field from the tube, uh, reducing the performance of the tube. The other thing that can happen is with those minerals, they can create residue in the tube, reducing the performance of the cooling. So a lot of times, if you guys have done this, you might notice white buildup in your silicon tubes. You might notice white particles sitting in the bottom of your uh, laser tube itself. This is the calcium and other uh, minerals settling in there and collecting. Now, this can create hot spots, reduce flow. So this is not a good thing for the life of your tube. So there are really two Two reasons that we do want to use distilled water. One is not to interact with the electrical field we're creating in the arc lamp, and the second is not to create deposits in our tube or hosing to reduce coolant flow. So hopefully this explains the mystery of why distilled water. If this helped you out, hey, please give it a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing, and if you're looking for cool geek gifts, swag shops up there, and we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.